Hi, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook, and today I wanted to give you just a quick walkthrough of My Maps. My Maps is a Google app that's available with all of the other Google apps you're familiar with, Docs and Slides and Sheets and so on. You can get to a My Map by clicking on the red New button in your Google Drive, and then using the More and scooting over past Slides and Docs and Sheets, and then there's a button where you can click on My Maps or you can just go to google.com slash mymaps. Either way works. And it takes you to this screen right here. And so we're gonna create a new map. The great thing about my maps is that it lets you drop pins on these maps to show certain locations. And then within those pins, we can add additional details like text and links and pictures and all sorts of different things. So it's a really versatile tool. So I want to zoom in real quick. Of course, I'm from the state of Indiana, so I'm going to drop a pin right here in Indianapolis, our state capital. So we'll drop it right here, and you can see that I can add a title, and then I can also add some information about it. And then I can click Save. Or what I can also do is I can click Photo here. I could do a Google image search for a picture of Indianapolis, and then I could stick that in there too. So it's not just text, then it's also, there's a picture too. So let's hit Save, and now it's got it right here. Now another way that you can add a pin is by, I can see Columbus, Ohio over here, so I'm going to add that. And so I could look it up in the search bar here and add it that way. Now if you find a specific, and then I can just hit add to map and now there's a pin of it right there. Now if I look for a specific location with an address and everything, like I'm gonna go to the stadium where the Indiana Pacers, our basketball team plays, and that is called Banker's Life Field House. So I'm going to take that. Now you can see that from Google's directories that they have an address right here. Sometimes it even adds a, a link to where you can find it online and a phone number and all of that stuff. So I'll add that to, to it right here too. And then you can click right here to actually go into Google Maps. Now what you might notice is over here on the left side of the screen, as I've been adding those pins, I have a list. And these are the three places that I have. Now you can organize these lists using layers if you want to. So they're all under one layer right now. So let's click on that and let's change that to first group of locations. Now let's say that we want another group of locations and we want to organize it because these are part of one group and then another group, they're, they're different. So let's call this next layer. See, I clicked add layer here. So I can click on this and I can say second group of locations. And then I can start adding some other ones. I just came yesterday from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm giving you a little tour around Indiana here. So I just did a, a workshop up here. So I'm gonna add that to the map. And notice now we're in this second group of locations. We just added it there. And so it's, it's possible to move them to different groups if you need, to, need them to. And so within this, I can click the edit button. And I can even modify this up here. And so within the edit button, those are things that you can do. And of course, I could click the image again, and I could go to Fort Wayne, Indiana here, and I could pull up a picture. Let's use this one right here. And so now there's a picture on it too. I keep using my little scroll wheel and it zooms in. I'm not expecting that. Okay, so I can hit save. Now another thing you can obviously do within this is you could type a link in here too. And you can also put data in the, the descriptions. This is the description part right here. So imagine that you've got a set of data and you want to figure out, in fact, let's do this on a third group of locations here. So we'll do this untitled later is a layer with data. And so let's say that we, we're gonna add some about three cities in here. And once we add it, we're going to put a number. 
going to say one. Atlanta, just going to pick some random places here. Let's put San Diego, California in here too. And within that, we'll put two as the number here. And then let's do New York, New York, and we'll put a three in there. So we'll edit that one. Now that there's data in these, watch what you can do. You can take this and you can put individual styles to each one because right now, whatever style of pin, see that red pin right there for New York, whatever style pin I have, that's what's displaying. But what you can do is you can style the data by description. And so now you can see that the darker that it is, the higher the number is. And so let's zoom out real quick and let's see what that actually looks like. So if we come out here, you can see that it's changed the colors based on the data. This one's one, so it's the lightest. This one's two, so it's sort of in the middle. And this one's three, so it's the darkest. And you can see right here, one, two, and three. And you can style it based on, based on that. And then we can even put the description off to the side here so we can see how that's all how that's all based. So there's just an awful lot that you can do here. I've got some more information on my website. Just wrote a post about 20 ways that you can use my maps in the classroom. So if you head over to ditchthattextbook.com, let me show you what that looks like real quick. I'm just about to publish it. I'm actually recording this before I've published the post. But if you go to ditchthattextbook.com, and it's not on the front page you can just come over here to where it says search my blog and just search for my maps and that post should come right up so if you're looking for ways to use this in the class i've got 20 of them in that post so look forward to seeing you over there